you haven't seen me in a while. Sorry. It's summer officially. Today is June 21st here in Michigan. And thank goodness because last winter was brutal. I know I'm still talking about it. So that tells you that it's got to be crazy because I always used to love winter. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been spinning and that I haven't fallen off the map. Um, my goal for this month was eight ounces. I don't know where I am on goal right now, but I guess I will give you a little weight at the end. Not my weight. Um, so, so far I have four ounces, which is what turned out to be exactly 600 yards. And this is the Caliente from the spinning box. Um, you can look back at it. I think it was last month, the spinning box, the fiber from Camage. Ooh, look at that. Come on. There we go. I spun it from the fold. I spinned it. What is the correct? I spun it always sounds weird to me. Look how pretty that is. Ooh. And um, it's about fingering weight, maybe even a little like a light fingering. I have not soaked it yet, but isn't it, it's just really pretty. So the reason I spun this from the fold, and you can go back and look at that video to see what the roving looked like, but it was because um, the colors are so similar. It's all orange, yellow, red, that I didn't want it to become just like a heathered look, although you could do that and I'm sure it would be beautiful. But um, I just really wanted it to be more so you could see the separate colors. And we're joking that it's ketchup and mustard, but it's really pretty. So that's one. Also, this was spun from a set of roll eggs, and I will actually link to the video where I made the roll eggs. It's um, merino, it's got some bamboo, some silk. I had only a very small amount of this stuff, so it's from scrap. And look how, oh, it's 154 yards. That's my super technical way of labeling these. These are those like bracelets that you can, they're Tyvek, because if I soak it with the, if I don't put the label on immediately and then I soak it, I can't remember which skein is which. That's how I am, guys. I don't know. And um, I hope it's enough to make a hat. It's going to have to be like a big stitch for the size of the yarn. But it turned out yummy. And it matches my kitchen. Next, you guys probably saw last week, I put up a video of how I process very fine fleeces with minimal tools. This is Rambouillet. I bought it from a lady named Teresa Haney on Facebook and if you want to email me I can connect you with her. My email is neverendingknitnight at gmail.com exactly spelled normal with no you know underlines or anything. And I have spun like 3400 yards of this total but just these are the only two that were in um, June. Oh, there you go. I don't know, this Rambouillet actually has like a little bit of shine to it. It's really pretty. Uh, I think it's gonna be a sweater, potentially for my husband, because it's so soft, but I know it's gonna pill a little bit, so we'll see, it could be for me. But it's very fine also, it's like fingering weight. And last, in spinning anyway, this, you guys, is through the looking glass um, top that came in a Paradise Fibers box. I think it was April, the Alice in Wonderland box. And, okay, can you see it? Come into focus camera, you can do it. I'm trying to track my face, I got you. Look at that. I'm gonna go, to go a little closer. I also spun this from the fold and it was really for the same reason. I started just in the very beginning, in the back of my mind I was like not sure if I want to spin from the end. It was a blended top 
and I did try for a little while and what I was finding was that it just was coming out more heathered than I actually wanted it to be. I wanted those colors because they were mostly very similar to have a little bit more like separation if you will while I was spinning and I think it worked out really beautifully. It almost gave it like a little bit of a confetti feeling to it because the color repeats are so short because in that blended top it's mostly blue and then there's just a little small ribbons of like purple and green and I want to say there was orange also but I am in love with this and I thought I didn't label it but then I realized that even though I'm kind of like scattered and crazy, I also have learned all the ways to get around that. Not all the ways. I can work on some things. And I did label it. I just crammed it into the skeining. So 210 yards and it is chain plied. I think it's going to be a cowl because I feel like this color could be good on me. We'll see done some dyeing. I dyed some um, locks that I am spinning right now so those will be in a later video but also I dyed this outside can you tell? Hello? Oops. Oh great it's really in there. Mm. Um, this is for shard so if you've ever knit one you know that the way it works is you have two different colors or two different the repeat of the yarn is like 77 inches so I took two chairs and I made them so that if I went around them they were exactly 77 inches made myself my own skein and this is gonna be my shard I don't know this color might be bluer than it actually is in real life it's purple and then like teal and because I had extra dye, I still have extra dye because I'm a crazy lady. I also did a sock blank. It's a little sheer. But anyway, when I unravel and start to knit this, I'll show you better. But it turned out really, really pretty with these colors. I'm So I guess I'll have matching socks, although that isn't what I intended. I just wanted to throw that dye on something. But last, I'm gonna show you, first of all, a pair of socks I finished. I can't even take pictures or show you right now because my son took them immediately. They were the K. Snyder socks by Michelle Leanne Martin. I tested her socks sometimes and it's like impossible to get in if you don't get in in like the first 15 minutes. So if I'm not just like hanging out in a Ravelry, I always miss it. But I did get in on these and they are gorgeous and I was not sure how much I would love this pattern at first but I love it you guys it's really really pretty it's got leaves and you'll see I do have pictures because I made a project page and I'm just going to run through the pictures so that you can see them but honestly it's available now out to the public so if you're into challenging pattern socks it'll really keep you interested just right here, you gotta look because they were fun. Next, I am pretty close to starting Summer of Socks. Oh my god, not Summer, Tour de Socks. I'm on Team Invictus. Come watch us, you can cheer join it is a great cause it's for doctors without borders you pay i think it was ten dollars this year and you get four or five patterns maybe it's even six right now there's a warm-up pattern available i'm not knitting the warm-up pat warm up pattern it's not really my jam but um i don't like to put that kind of pressure on myself unless i'm just like oh i love this pattern it's amazing that's just how I do it though. If you're one of those people who's like, I signed up, I have to do every pattern. Actually, you're better than me. But that's okay. Um, 
And next, I just wanna quickly show you guys the fleeces that I've been talking about and that came while I was at Maryland Sheep and Wool. Yes, I was at a festival and two boxes full of five fleeces showed up at my house. Bad planning on my part. But I did warn my husband up front and he texted me while I was like shopping for fleeces but my five fleeces had showed up. And I quickly filmed when I opened them up so that you can see them all. Um, at the end, I mentioned that I would really appreciate it if you guys wouldn't buy Snowball because I'd like to buy it again next year. But I guess if I miss out, then I miss out. That's the way fleece buying goes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm excited to see you. I haven't been knitting a ton because it's hot, but I've been spinning. So I will be back soon with more spinning. I hope you enjoy the unboxing and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, my battery. All right, my battery died while I was filming this video. So I'm gonna redo. I'll have to insert footage of Snowball, but these are the fleeces I got from Fiddle Knoll Farms in Scandia, Michigan. It's run by this lady named Sue Kapla and she's a canine like behavioral consultant, expert, whatever. So this is the Romney fleece. You guys, look at this thing. Look at it. Hang on. Trying to pull some locks off with just one hand. Look at this. Ah! Okay, I think I got a mosquito there. Look at that. Insane. I cannot wait. Um, that sheep's name was Gawezer. This is, gosh, I can't remember if it's Hava. I think it is. Hang on, here's her tag. Yeah, this is Hava. Look at this one. I don't, I don't want to pull it out because I'm going to screw it all up, but look at this. And you need to see this. All right, let me see if I can get it open a little bit. Look. Gosh, I don't know if you can tell. There is like, oh my gosh, Luther. There's like no vegetable matter in there practically. All right, so those that's those two. These are super easy to wash too. I mean, I don't know if you can really see, but they're very clean right when I get them from her. This one is, I got two white CVMs. This, this is Snowball. And this is one that I've tried to get once or twice before and it was always gone. So I think I tried to get her last year. So there's a lock from Snowball. That's Snowball's lock. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, so this one is Helga. Look at that. And look how clean this fleece is. Look at that. Oh, look, you can see in here better. Gorgeous. And then this one. Mmm. This one, the last one, is Sister. Look at that. And look, in, can you see in there how clean that darn fleece is? So all of them are CVMs except for Gleezer. That one's a Romney. So guys, check her out. I'm going to put a link to her. I'm actually going to put her email in the description box because you have to reserve fleeces early with her if you want one. Don't buy Snowball next year or I'll kill you. Thanks, bye.